Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I would like to begin by giving a special thanks to a few very deserving people, as I would not be in this position without the support and guidance of all of them. First and foremost, I thank and give all praises to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He has blessed me immensely by surrounding me with so many amazing people and blessing me with the ability to reach this position today. I would also like to thank the Holy Spirit for guiding me throughout my entire life and always being by my side at all times. Next, I would like to thank my parents. They have always shown support to me, and I'm so grateful for their decision to send me here to West Catholic. I would also like to thank all my teachers for their dedication to us students, but especially Mr. Fix, Mrs. Cortez, and Mr. Bodwin for the profound impacts they've had in my life. Finally, I would like to thank Bishop and all the priests here tonight, but especially my two priests at Assumption, Father Tony and Father Chuck, for helping me grow in my faith journey. Now, as we sit in this familiar space, I want all of you to ponder this question. What is your goal in life? Some of you may want to make it big on Wall Street. Others may attempt to start your own business. And still, others may try to chase wealth at the blackjack table. But, but no matter what you are thinking right now, our goals all share one thing in common. We, as human beings, naturally desire to be happy. Class of 2024, Think back to freshman year religion. The first lesson of the year described the four levels of happiness. The first three levels can be summed up as materialistic and desires of the flesh. The first three levels get progressively harder to achieve, yet they are more fulfilling. However, they will never completely satisfy you, leading you to desire something greater. This is where the level four happiness, the highest level of happiness, comes into play. Level four happiness can only be achieved through faith, and a strong relationship with God. For many of us, our Catholic education has come to a close, and all of us will enter an environment that is becoming ever more secular, which will no longer nourish our faith. We will be somewhere else where we will not have our parents and teachers essentially forcing us to think about Jesus each and every day. We will have people telling us to stop worrying about this sky daddy, and that he is not real, and that Catholics are terrible people. These conflicting viewpoints may seem over overwhelming, but we must overcome them to be truly happy. In order to achieve this daunting feat, we must all create and follow a plan. We must be intentional in doing this. Sure, we may have heard of a couch to 5K or a couch to marathon program, but as we enter this next phase of our lives, I urge each and every one of you to create a couch to holiness program for yourself. This program is not one size fits all because each of us is at a different point along our journey to the pathway to heaven. Class of 2024, no matter where life may take us, we are all capable of this achievement. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. Do not settle for a lower level of happiness than we are called to. I have been blessed to receive 15 years of Catholic education. I want to see all of you thrive throughout your life. Tonight, I'm imploring each and every one of you, if you have not yet begun this, Enter into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Just do it. There is no better way to close this chapter of our lives than with him. If he is truly your Lord and Savior, then make sure you foster this relationship above all others. And for those of you struggling with doubt, I'll offer you the words in Psalm 73. It is here the psalmist struggles with doubt when he sees the prosperity of the wicked of people around him. He begins to envy these people. He sees no light at the tunnel. These people, they're rich, people love them, but him, he's struggling. He's getting beaten up and sick. However, it is at this point the psalmist enters the presence of God. It is here God gives him an eternal perspective. He realizes that in the end, God will conquer all evil. There will be a day of judgment, and nothing on this earth is worth desiring but God. He concludes with the very inspiring words of, My heart and flesh may fail, but God is my strength forever. I pray that as we go forth, we all find our strength and confidence in the Lord. I challenge each of us to come up with a plan to grow in holiness. A phenomenal foundation for this is to attend Mass every Sunday and receive the Lord with a clean heart. There is nothing, let me repeat this, there is nothing that can be more important in your life than fulfilling your Sunday obligation. As we depart this building today, it is important to remember that how we carry ourselves in this world determines our passage into the next. 
And I just want to leave you with this. As Bishop was talking in his homily about gifts, the greatest gift you can give somebody is to love them so much that they are drawn into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you, class of 2024, for a great four years. I've been honored to have been in your class for this time. Good luck in this next chapter of life. And go blue.